Hi, and welcome back to To the DCP and Beyond. My name is Kaylee, for those of you who don't know. And today, I'm going to be talking about packing lists for the DCP. Um, I am currently in the process of packing all of my stuff right now because I leave in six days to go down to Florida. So, so I like to keep a little booklet to be able to mark things off as I pack it. So we're going to start off with the bedroom, which you'll be sharing with somebody. But this is what I have. Two sets of sheets, two pillowcases, blankets. I'm going to take about three blankets, um, a comforter for a twin size bed, pillows. I'm taking two normal size pillows and one body pillow just because I like pillows. <laughs> Um, hangers. Some people like to get those whenever you get down there because hangers do tend to take up a lot of space. So some people get those when you get down there, the day you get down there. They buy them. Um, storage containers. They can be good because you can fit more things in your room easier. Great explanation. <laughs> No, but like if you get one of the the three drawer ones that pull out and then you just put it next to your bed, that's easily a lot of extra storage. Or if you want to get bed risers, you can lift your bed up a little and then get the things that go under your bed that you pull out. Um, a combo lock, that would be great to put on your little locker in your room if you feel that, you know, you have things that you don't want anybody to see or anybody to steal or anybody to get. Um, another personal preference is to bring fabric to cover up your bulletin board. Uh, for the bathroom, you'd need towels. I'm going to bring four towels just because, you know, you never know if one's going to be dirty or anything like that. I'm also going to bring a long swimming towel. Um, I'm not going to bring a shower curtain, but some people do. The only reason why I'm not is because I'm buying it when I get down there with my roommate. A floor mat. I have a Disney little Mickey floor mat. Yep. A toothbrush. Toothpaste. A wand for you ladies out there to curl your hair. Or a straightener, if you prefer. A brush. Uh, storage containers for the bathroom. That would be like those little ones that are like this big. And you just put them under the, under the sink. And that way you can keep, you know, your stuff separate, organized. Um, razors, shampoo, conditioner, body spray, body wash, uh, makeup remover for all those ladies, hairspray, makeup, um, deodorant is extremely important. If you do not bring anything else, bring deodorant because there are going to be tons of people in Disney World at once. And all those people may not be wearing deodorant. So with it being as hot as it is in Florida all the time and everyone's sweating, you know, you might want to be one of those people that smells good. And the clothes hamper for whenever you have dirty clothes. Because that will definitely help if you end up having to go down to a laundry complex and having to do your laundry there, you wouldn't want to like carry it in a bag or anything, so get a clothes hamper. Um, so for the kitchen, my roommates and I split up everything to bring for the kitchen and some of the stuff is already in there. So I'm bringing a crock pot, a few glasses, and a paper towel holder. For wardrobe, 
you would need different types of wardrobe. So you have the business side and then you have the casual side. For business, there would need to be like a black blazer, a black cardigan, um, business shirts like button down, uh, nice tank tops to go under blazers or cardigans, um, slats or khakis, um, skirts, like nice pencil skirts. Shoes can be anywhere from flats to heels. Um, remember that sandals are not business attire. And dresses, you can wear dresses. As long as they're not like spaghetti dresses or strapless, you know, you want them to have at least the three finger rule, which is where you put your three fingers there. And if it's not as thick or thicker, then you probably shouldn't wear it for a business meeting. For casual, you know, you got things like underwear, uh, bras, socks, dresses, jeans, jeggings, shorts, swimsuits. For swimsuits, I'm bringing two. One as a two-piece and then the other as a one-piece. Um, the two-piece for if I go like tanning or to the beach or anything like that. The one piece for whenever I go to like a water park, like Typhoon Lagoon, because I do not want to go down a slide and just go, whoo, you know what I mean? Uh, T-shirts, tank tops, long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, sweatpants, shoes, rain jacket, belts, cute shirts. <laughs> um, I'm bringing about uh, three dresses. I'm bringing two pairs of jeans, two pairs of leggings. Five pairs of shorts, five pairs of norts, which are Nike shorts. Um, I already told you about the swimsuits. I'm going to bring ten t-shirts, uh, five tank tops, one long sleeve shirt, one sweatshirt, one pair of sweatpants, ten pairs of shoes, one rain jacket, one belt, and three cute shirts. For personal items, you will need your I-9 forms. I-9 forms are very, very important, especially for the day of check-in. Please remember to have those. And there will be a description below um, saying what those are exactly that you might need. Also, you will need a valid ID, a voided check, some people have argued over time that you don't need it because you do your direct deposit stuff in the new hire documentation, but it's always good just to have it in case or some sort of paper with your information on it to make sure that it is your bank if they ask for it. You always want to be prepared. Um, bring cash or debit card or anything for the first couple weeks because you will not be getting a paycheck for the first two weeks I want to say um, because you'll be going through check-in and training and paychecks are delayed a week anyway um, electronics I am bringing my laptop and my charger and I'm bringing my cell phone and charger and I'm bringing my iPod Touch and my charger. For the category of other, it would be gifts, which I am definitely bringing for my roommates. And you will see a video all about that later. And crafting supplies, I'm a huge crafter. So I have things like paints and all kinds of stuff. So I'm bringing a little box for all that, just in case I want to craft with my roommates one day. I'm bringing my Wii and that is the white console gaming device <laughs> along with some games um, like Just Dance. So if anybody gets down there and wants to have a Just Dance tournament, come over to our place. We'll have some fun. <laughs> Uh, movies, if you want to bring any movies like Disney movies or, you know, personal preference, that would be a good idea. Have some movie nights with your roommates. Um, textbooks, I'm definitely bringing textbooks because I'm taking two online classes while I'll be down at Disney. 
<sighs> uh, also school stuff. I registered for the entertainment show production course that Disney provides, so I will need some school supplies for that. Um, this is just personal preference. I'm bringing my Bible. Uh, cleaning supplies, definite must. If you do not bring them, buy them when you get down there. You're never sure how the apartment is going to look. I've seen on the Facebook page already of people getting down there and being like, Ooh, my apartment is disgusting. I had to call cleaning the next day. And I had to do all this by myself and blah, 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 blah. Well, be prepared because things are going to get messy and dirty. So you want cleaning supplies. Things like laundry detergent is a definite must to wash your clothes. Softener, toilet paper, paper towels, um, things to clean your bathroom with like Lysol. Lysol wipes are lifesavers. They're great. A calendar journal to keep up with everything that's going on, like your work schedule, if you have events coming up. It's better to have a little, you know, little journal to write everything down in. So yeah, there's my packing list. If anybody has any questions about anything that I said in the video about packing, or if anybody has any thoughts about it, comments, want to add anything to the list, take anything out, just let me know. I hope you have an extremely magical day, and I'll see you next time.